Welcome to our next session, Eyelid Care That Works for Everyone. Dr. Damon Durker, I am pleased to be joined by my esteemed colleagues, Dr. Pam Terrio and Dr. Crystal Brimer. Uh, in order for us to see and effectively treat more patients, we really are constantly looking for new, fast, effective, low-cost treatment options for our patients. So in this session, we're going to talk about new lids. Uh, new lids Pro is a relatively new um, way for us to be able to provide in-office eyelid hygiene. Dr. Terrio, what's been your experience so far with New Lids Pro? Well, Dr. Jerker, let me first preface my answer by addressing the need. For many years, I've seen that there's a need in my practice for something that's simple, fast, effective, inexpensive to patients, and be able to proactively treat eyelids in office. And it's been needed for our profession for a long time. New Lids uniquely addresses this problem for all of our colleagues and their patients. The opportunity for such a device has, is extraordinarily high, given that 60% of all adults diagnosed with or have been diagnosed with blepharitis, and more than 100 million Americans are routinely buying artificial tears. In fact, in the Titan study, Dr. Bill Trattler recently wrote a paper stating that 58% of adults on, in the average practice have either some degree of blepharitis or demodex. And because this condition is often asymptomatic, the vast majority of people are not seeking a diagnosis and that ongoing inflammation of blepharitis results in a downstream medical as well as aesthetic problems that can become harder to treat. It's important to educate and provide a practical treatment for this majority of the population. Newlids Pro makes that uniquely possible at any practice by being convenient, comfortable, and affordable to the patient, while being very efficient and profitable to the practice as well. And when you add up all the patients that have eyelash debris, redness, puffiness, itchy or scratchiness at their lid margins, contact lens intolerance, and so on, it's pretty easy to see that almost every adult in our patient practice would benefit from the treatment. So Dr. Terrio, as we watch this video of the new Liz Pro in action, I want to get Dr. Brimer in on the on the conversation here as well, because I know that you're passionate about identifying these patients. Some of these are patients are asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic. But Dr. Brimer, what has New Liz Pro meant to you in terms of utilizing this in your practice? It gives us a, an additional option that, like she said, if we've been needing this, something that's low cost to the practice that can be implemented easily, no matter what your practice demographic is um, due to the price point and because of the ease of use and trainability of it, you can delegate it to just about anybody in the practice. Um, and like you said, it's the most important thing is identifying it quickly and doing something. I agree. So Dr. Terrio, uh, let's get into the nuances specifically of the New Lids Pro. How is it so effective at being able to provide this solution for our patients uh, on a routine basis, even in a routine eye care exam? What makes the New Lids Pro so unique? Well, in my practice, we're looking at the lids and lashes on every patient. So you check their lids and lashes, and I might take a quick picture either with a cell phone attachment or the soot lamp and take a picture of what I'm seeing in the lids. Then I show it to the patient and explain that those collarettes don't need to be on our lids and lashes. They're creating inflammation that's making the eyes red and itchy, irritated, and maybe um, even watering. So once I show the patient, I can quickly describe the problem and let them know that we have an in-office treatment that we can do today and not have to schedule at a separate time. 
Then once um, I've told the patient about the in-office procedure, either myself or my technician can easily perform the procedure within a minute or two right there while the patient's sitting in the exam chair. And as you can see in these photos, the after photos speak for themselves. We've completely gotten rid of the collarettes on the lash margins and the patient will go home feeling better. So when I'm using new this pro in the office, I'm similar. You know, I will delegate this most of the time to a technician, uh, a dry IT member. There are occasional patients that need a little extra TLC where I will sometimes provide that myself. Um, not saying that I'm any better at providing that than my technician staff, but sometimes there is something unique about that doctor patient relationship. So I think, you know, the vast majority are going to be done by my staff members. It takes them just a couple minutes to do. Uh, when I look at other technologies that are used in the office for microbial after exfoliation or other eyelid hygiene techniques, uh, the reason we've gravitated to New This Pro is really the patient experience. It's a very comfortable procedure for the patient, but yet very effective. My technicians who were doing some other procedures uh, involving devices in the office to work on lids and lashes didn't always like to perform those procedures because the patients didn't always have a pleasant experience with some other technologies that are out there. New Lids Pro has really eliminated that problem in our practice. And now it's something when I say, hey, we're going to do a New Lids Pro, and sometimes we'll do it prior to a tear care or prior to an IPL. My staff and patient are both excited to have that procedure done. You know, thinking about practice non-negotiables for implementation, you're looking at what the new lid pro has to offer. Dr. Terry, you want to take us through these this checklist of things that show the value and in incorporate new lids pro into any eye care practice? Absolutely. So it must be fast from beginning to end. We don't want to slow down the patient flow process. We absolutely don't want to, in any practice, reduce how many patients we're able to see because we're adding these procedures in. And it must be easy to implement. So even the lowest level of technician might be able to jump in and get it done. Um, in addition, the Newlands Pro doesn't require any additional space. It's very small. It can be done in the exam chair, so we don't have to move the patient anywhere else within the office. They can do it right where they're sitting. And of course, it's got to be comfortable to the patient. You don't want them squinting or squealing and trying to get away. We don't need to use any anesthetic to do a Newlands Pro and... Um, we don't want to have to reappoint the patient to get it done that day. And finally, it needs to be ultra low cost, both to the patient and to the practice. In, in my practice, we charge just $50 to do the treatment, and we do it that same day. So it is efficient, effective, and affordable. Dr. Breimer, is there anything that is missing from this list as a non-negotiable for implementation, or is there any point that you'd like to emphasize as to why New Liz Pro really is going to be a, a great solution, great option for so many practices? Non-negotiable. Well, I'm going to add something to it that doesn't have a, a whole lot of uh, dependence on New Lids. It's a, what's non-negotiable is for us to identify it. And I think it it just keeps circling around to that because if you want to bury your head in the sand and act like Dimidex is not a big problem or that it's not going to help you know somebody with stagnant oil glands and that they'll be fine on their own, then you know there's not a device out there to fix that. So I would just say continuing to look to look at those lids, look at the lashes, and identify it, and then this is going to be a beautiful answer for it. So Dr. Breimer, I know you've had years of experience with the at-home version of New Lids and New Lids Pro has been you know, available for the past year or so. If you see a patient that walks in your office that has discharge, itching, tearing, watery, eyelid redness, and you see this at the slit lamp, what does that conversation look like and how are you going about recommending treatment both in the office and at home? 
when I have my dry eye eval, and if you had any discussion with me ever, you know this, you know, I'm very adamant about going through my list of differential diagnosis and really tailoring the treatment according to that patient. So most of my patients, they end up with this uh, presentation where I'm saying, all right, number one issue is inflammation and oil glands. And then number two is whether or not they have the presence of demodex or some sort of blepharitis and the majority of them do. And then I'm going through and I'm saying, all right, for this issue, good, better, best for this one, good, better, best. And the reality is new lids is one of the only devices or treatments out there where it does kill two birds with one stone, because I can use this to clean the lid, but I can use it to massage the lid and have a, a better oil flow. But also I've got these patients with severe rosacea and instead of having them apply heat, which is going to aggravate the rosacea, they're able to do this safely and effectively. And it actually helps thin out the uh, thick lids because it's, it's increasing that blood circulation and just helping with the edema. So I love that I'm able to use this for multiple purposes. And that's part of my dialogue to the patient is after I do my good, better, best for blepharitis and for oil glands and inflammation, then I come back and say, all right, if it were me, you know, I would do this, I would do this, and then I would do this, which is going to take care of A, B, and C. So when you look at recommending what I would think is your best option for daily lid hygiene, which is new lids at home, what does that presentation look like to the patient or why, why do you make this recommendation in the first place? Well, first and foremost, efficacy. And again, if you've ever listened to me, whenever I'm talking to doctors about well, what are you going to buy and they're asking me, it always comes down to efficacy and it's something that cannot be compromised. If it works, then not only are you going to pay for it quickly and easily, and especially in this case, because it cost practically nothing. Um, but also you're going to build that reputation and that patient loyalty along the way. So I have seen firsthand in my patient base, I've sold so many of these. I mean, the at home, like was said earlier, it was where it started. And that's where I got my feet wet. I have hundreds and hundreds of patients using new lids at home right now. So I know that it works. It helps to improve the oil flow. And I've seen it in as early as a month when they come back and I'm doing interferometry on every one of these follow-ups. So I can see that oil flow and the change there. And I use a nutraceutical alongside it, but I can also see the difference in the blepharitis and in the demodex and in the rosacea. Um, so it's, it's a win-win all the way around and efficacy is, is first and foremost, the reason why I recommend it. And it, it goes beyond that. Um, you know, safety is a must. If I'm going to send a patient home with it, then I've got to be able to trust it. And again, with me having hundreds of patients on this, and I don't remember what year I started. Um, it was the very beginning. So it had to be 17 or somewhere 18. 18, 19, it's been a long time. It's been at least five years, but from the beginning I was using it, which means if I have hundreds and hundreds of patients, then I've had thousands and thousands of treatments that have been performed at home and zero adverse events, never even a question of it, no abrasions, nothing like that. And then the last thing I would say is compliance. And I've always said, you know, you could have the best treatment in the world, but if your patient doesn't do it, you've got nothing. And so it really comes down to compliance. And I find that with the new lids, because they're able to get relief quickly, then they're immediately better compliant than they are with other treatments because they see and feel that it's making a difference. And that's really a challenge whenever I'm asking them to do several things. And I know it's going to take time for them to feel a difference, but yet they're having to pay money and, and to buy into our plan. And so I love that they feel a difference quickly, even in the office. Um, and on that note, I'll say, whenever we train somebody, we only allow them to do one eye in the office. I did it today on a patient. And we do that because then we ask, well, how does your eye feel? And they'll say, oh my gosh, it feels better already. And we won't do the other eye because I tell them, I want you to, to notice that on your way home. When you get home, I want you to think about it again. And you'll know the whole time, the rest of the day, that eye feels better. And that right there is such a huge testimony so that helps them be compliant, but also the fact that it's so quick, it's one minute. And I tell them, brush your teeth, brush your lids and put it right there next to your toothbrush. 
And the reality is I ask them to do it once a day. And the vast majority of my patients come back doing it twice a day. And it's because it feels so good and they enjoy it. They feel like it's making a difference. I do want to hit a couple points on a clinical trial regarding efficacy of performing new Liz procedure at home. Dr. Brimer, can you take us through some of the key highlights of this trial when we're looking at effect on meibomian gland function as well as the ocular surface as a whole? Absolutely. So you see the numbers, they're pretty overwhelming, uh, impressive to say the least. So 82% improvement in meibomian gland uh, that are yielding liquid secretions. Uh, any patient in mind, if you're thinking, man, if I just had 82% better liquidity in those glands, I mean, that is an enormous difference. 51% improvement in their OSDI score, again, huge. And then 65% improvement in tear film breakup time. And there's very few studies out there related to any clinical treatment that can give that kind of improvement in breakup time. 48% improvement in ocular staining score. Um, and that's a struggle that is always difficult and enduring when you have these patients with chronic staining. But if I can just throw my two cents on some of the why behind this, yes, we're getting more oil onto the ocular surface, so that's going to improve the breakup time. But I think the reason that it helps the staining so much is there's a certain patient that I identify that has very grungy tear film and you debride their lid margin and it's just laden. You know, you're, you're getting a whole lot of um, production on, on debridement. And this person has the red eye, they have the light sensitivity, they're fairly miserable. When I send them home with new lids, they come back and that lid margin becomes dry and pristine. And now their tear film is cleaner and now their eyes less red, their staining is better. And I think that part just ties into that um, that microbial burden, that overproduction on the lid margin. Yeah, I think the study results are impressive when you look at all of the different parts of the ocular surface that new lids at home can impact. I know Dr. Brimer, you mentioned it before, but tell us a little bit more about safety. Can can somebody that's administering this themselves, is it possible to hurt yourselves with a new lids at home device? I promise you, if it was, my patients would have done it. Somebody <laughs> out there. <laughs> but no, and this study shows that even with direct application on the corneal epithelium, it did not cause an abrasion. And this was donor tissue, but you know, we assume, and I assume just from the thousands of applications that have been done in my own patients, that if they if somebody could have made an abrasion, they would have by now. And it has never happened, never even a red eye, nothing. So uh, Dr. Very Terrio, can you confirm that uh, same sort of safety in your patient population? Yes, absolutely. I haven't had any any patients complain um, that even in office that the that it wasn't comfortable. Um, some some patients will come and say, "Oh, can you do that thing on my lids again? I just loved it." So. I, I think it's very enjoyable overall. It makes uh, a bit of noise, um, but it's not it's not scary as it's coming to their eye because they can keep their lids closed. It's not as if something is coming at them that they are, you know, flinching from. I think that probably cuts down on any kind of um, abrasion because they're they're keeping their lids closed when they're doing the procedure. So let's talk as we kind of you know, wrap things up and pull all of this together with New Liz Pro in the office, as well as New Liz at home. You know, Dr. Brimer, when you think about how you utilize New Liz on a daily or weekly basis, and I know you've got a bunch of different things in your office with thermal treatments and IPL and all sorts of different things that you can use to help patients ocular surface. Do you find this being best as a standalone treatment, or do you think that this is better utilized in conjunction with other treatment modalities? I think both. Uh, I mean, my patients, I'm a referral center, so 95% come from another office. So they are so severe that we are going to be doing IPL and a nutraceutical, but the a huge amount of my patients, that they get away with just that, IPL, PRN, and new lids. And I am so thankful for it because 
to get them scheduled again. The lady left today, dry eye eval, and she can't get back in for an IPL for two and a half months. So I'm able to give her some relief in the meantime while we're waiting on something sooner to open up. And if I didn't have this, they would really be in a holding pattern. So in some respect, it starts out as an, a solo treatment in my office because we're waiting to get back in, but ultimately it's a combo. Now, my office is very different. If I were in a comprehensive care practice, then this would be a home run all by itself because you know the vast majority of the patients wouldn't be as severe. And this would be a great business building tool because these dry eye patients, they will doctor hop from one place to the next to the next until they get some relief. And, and dry eye is the number one cause for the medical visits in, in our industry, in our profession. And if you can give them something that offers them quick relief at a low cost, then this is going to create loyalty among that patient base. And it's going to, it's going to help grow referrals as well. I couldn't agree more. Uh, Dr. Terrio, any other comments as to how you are specifically utilizing this, these technologies in your practice? Well, I have to say that I've just been frustrated by the care that most Americans give their eyes. Um, you know, we're never taught to take care of our eyes on a daily basis. Um, we know that we have to start brushing our teeth every day. We stand our toddlers up at the sink and help them brush their teeth. For, for a part of our body that is going to be replaced anyway. But yet every American knows that they need to brush their teeth twice a day. In my town, there's a nail salon on every corner and women are going and spending time and money to have something that's going to fall off in a short period of time and need to be replaced. Yet no one is really taking care of their eyes on a daily basis. And this might be my biggest soapbox. But um, the importance of treat, telling my patients that this is important, we need to do it. I'm going to take care of it right here today in the office so that when you leave, you're reset. Everything is going to look great. It's quick. It's easy. My technician can do it. And they leave with their eyes feeling great. I found that new lids is a unique innovation that effectively improves ocular health and stabilizes the vision for all of our patients. So giving them the gift of clean eyes and clear vision when they leave my office, will get them to come back the next time. Yeah, I think that really great points by the both of our panelists here. And I think if it's, if you're showing that it's important enough that you need to do it right now, whether it's part of a dry eye evaluation or even a routine eye exam, I think that says something to our patient is that, oh, this can wait, come back in a month and we'll do it. It's like, no, you're here. We should get going right now. I think provides that sense of urgency, but also provides some immediate relief for our patients that have been struggling for a long time, many of them. So I think I love it that you offer it and you say, let's do it right now. I think that's the right way to do this sort of thing for your patients and for your practice. Uh, Dr. Brimer, a quick pivot. I do want to hit on the white paper that you authored regarding utilizing new lids in patients with demodex blepharitis. Can you give us a couple highlights? Definitely. I, first of all, I'm so glad that it's getting more acknowledgement because I think demodex is such a bigger issue than what we had originally thought it could be. And so we're looking for it more. We're looking at the lids. And again, that's step one. Uh, the more I researched to write that, it was actually long. It was like a dissertation and it came down to two pages. But I learned a lot about how nasty they are and the excrements. And just the more you know, the, the more you want to make sure that your patients don't have this in their lashes. New lids is always my first choice with it. When a patient has it and I tell them good, better, best, good is going to be your soaps, your foams. It's not going to work better. And I'll, I'll go through the, the stronger ones with the hypochlorous acid. Still, I'll say, you know, you, you've got maybe a 60% chance here. And then with this, we've got a hundred percent chance as long as you do it right. And if you're not, I'm going to know when you come back in and I'm going to teach you how to do it right. And I can confidently say that, that it rids the Demodex 100% of the time, as long as their technique is good, but it's going to be obvious if it's not. And the things that I have to recoach them on is just turn in the corners. A lot of times they'll have Demodex on the inside corner or the outside, but it's because that's where they're missing it. So that's a perfect testament again, as to how effective it is, because where it touches, it gets rid of them. 
Um, I'm glad that we have more options. I'm glad that we have pharmaceutical options now, but I'm also very aware of the growing number of pharmaceuticals that patients are being put on and that my patients are on. And so the great thing about this is that it's extremely effective, but it has no active pharmaceutical. And so it's completely natural. And that makes me feel like not just comfortable prescribing it, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something really good and good for my patient, good for just holistic care and well being, and that I'm going the extra distance for them instead of just writing a script. That's great. So, as we wrap up our time, I do want to give our panelists kind of a final, you know, 30 second, you know, why is New Lids so important to your patients, to your practice, Dr. Terrio? go. Well, um, as I said, it's my way of showing my patients how important the health of their eyes are. The eyelids are there to protect our eyes. And so if we keep the eyelids clean and the meibomian glands flowing with oil, that will protect the ocular surface. If your ocular surface isn't clear, your vision isn't clear. So the biggest thing that patients complain about is vision and red eyes. So it, New Lids is uniquely designed to take care of that for sure. Get rid of the inflammation, get the meibomian glands flowing, and we'll have happy patients. Well said. Dr. Brimer, any final thoughts? Yes. Trusted, affordable, safe, an effective way that patients can contribute to their therapy at home, but it's one that will yield some level of immediate gratification in a class that is all about delayed gratification. I mean, that's the, the lecture I give to my patients on day one. It is not going to be rainbows and unicorns tomorrow, but the reality is this is the one of the only things I can give them where they do feel a little sense of immediate gratification and, and then motivation to stay on the wagon and keep doing the things I ask. No, great stuff. So I learned a lot. I live care that works for everyone. Dr. Terrio, Dr. Brimer, thank you so much. And New Lids Pro, New Lids at Home, I think these are great solutions for so many of your patients with ocular surface disease. Thank you, Damon. Thanks for having me.